Okay, my dear students, now the last topic is that Ellingen diagram. These are the graphs which represent the variation of Gibbs free energy with temperature for the formation of oxide of various elements. If he will ask you which element could be extracted, the oxide of any metal which is higher in the state, the Gibbs free energy is more negative and no, the graph of which metal oxide is lower down, its Gibbs energy becomes more negative and the reaction will more feasible. Any metal oxide with lower delta G is more stable than the metal oxide with higher delta G. Like as Cr2O3 plus aluminium, it will give you what? Al2O3 with chromium. So means of that chromium oxide from chromium oxide by using of aluminium oxide we can extract the chromium because of that the chrome this is rough idea i had given you chromium oxide when react uh, and we are watching this from the graph cr2o3 is coming upside from the aluminium oxide this is only rough idea i will given you the metal oxide which is down it will reduce from the upper metal oxide like as chromium oxide is extracted by the aluminium because aluminium oxide gives an energy is more negative and you know that I told you spontaneity criteria of any reaction is what delta G becomes more negative and E naught of that one becomes more positive so only one you have to learn that in the case of iron at 1000 Kelvin which is more reactive one question you have to learn properly in the case of iron, do not consider this diagram, this I am just going explaining. The temperature, the temperature above 1073, the carbon and carbon monoxide, carbon to carbon monoxide, that lines below the iron below the iron then feo so coke will be reduce iron oxide and itself oxidize to CO. This you will learn because this is conjunction and this is question. At 1070 Kelvin, coke is the better reducing agent. It will convert, it will reduce FeO and it itself oxidizes into the CO. So you please take care. Fe2O3 will be converted into the Fe by the pure coke. Fe2O3 react with the pure coke temperature 1073 Kelvin approx 1073 1073 Kelvin and converted the iron oxide into the iron and itself into the CO. So this is what the end my dear student of the metallurgy and you please take care, do these questions and that with me if you feel any difficulty, any mistake by me put, if you think that it is wrong, you can talk to me, you can call me, definitely I will be with you. Thank you guys, thank you very much.